What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, looking at a brand new equip card coming out of Circuit Break. This is Excessive Burial, and when I first saw this card, I'm not gonna lie, I got pretty fucking excited. I got hyped, and uh, I was thinking, oh snap, Konami decided to randomly remake Premature Burial? This is fucking awesome, because I haven't been able to play Premature Burial in what seems like forever, especially at like a premiere event or something like that. It's basically been since uh, GX and the TCG that we have had Premature Burial, and I saw this card, and my expectations were extremely high. I thought that it was going to be something like Pot of Desires is to, you know, Pot of Avarice or Pot of Greed. I thought that it was going to be a remake definitely in the spirit of the card, but it would be, you know, very playable. And then I actually read the card and all my hopes and dreams and expectations just, they came crashing down and I just felt so disappointed. So I'm going to go ahead and read Excessive Burial and then you guys will kind of understand why I think that this card is utter trash. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it because I just feel like I'm a little upset. I'm a little salty because I thought that this was going to be one of those remakes of a broken card that was still extremely good. And it's a remake of a broken card that's just, it's completely trash. I mean, Konami captured the spirit of Premature Burial. Don't get me wrong. And uh, I like these remakes, but this card is no bueno. So, it's called Excessive Burial. It's an equip card. You can only activate one copy of this card's name per turn. So it is that hard ones per turn. Discard one monster card from your hand, then target one monster in the graveyard whose level, whose original level is lower than that of the discarded monsters. Special summon that monster and equip it with this card. Okay, that, that's fine, I guess. Premature Burial with a cost, uh, discard cost of a monster instead of 800 life points. It further goes on to say uh, the equipped monster's effects are negated. And I saw that and I was just like, so so where's the where is the fucking potential of this card? This is so much worse than Premature Burial, which is understandable. If you're saying that Premature Burial is still a broken card and it shouldn't be unbanned, okay, that's fine. I, I completely can understand that point. The thing is there are so many restrictions on this card, I don't really understand how you're supposed to use it effectively, and I know somebody's going to be like, oh, there's this niche combo that involves X, Y, and Z, but it's like, if you're going to jump through all those fucking hoops, why not just play a better card? I get it that most spells that summon pretty much any monster uh, out of the graveyard are either limited to one or banned. Like, cards, you know, you think of are like Soul Charge, Premature Burial, Monster Reborn. I get that, but even if you compare this to something like D DDR, which I think it's kind of comparable to. I understand that this summons from the graveyard, DDR summons from the banished zone, and I think they're comparable, number one, because they got the same fucking guy on the card. If you look at the two cards and compare them, DDR is so much better than this card. Like, this is this is like DDR's, you know, moronic cousin or something like that. Like, there are so many just restrictions on this card that honestly kill all of its playmaking ability. Number one, it requires a discard of a monster specifically, so if you have a handful of spells or traps that you don't want to use, you can't use any of those. Number two, the target that you get has to be a lower level than the, than the monster that you discard. It's like, what the fuck? You're already hitting me for a monster. I can't just get any monster that I want. And then number three, the card has to, or the card that gets summoned doesn't even get an effect. So it's like, what the fuck am I using it for? I mean, I guess I can still link and fusion and do all my extra deck bullshit. And I guess, you know, tribute, but I don't know. I feel like it's just honestly not even worth it. Like I get a monster back. I can't use its effect. There are so many conditions. It's a hard once per turn. So if it gets MST, God forbid, uh, you know, somebody ends up like disrupting this card, you're basically SOL. So, you know, yeah, it's searchable from like hidden armory and stuff like that. But I don't know. I honestly wouldn't waste my time on this card. And it's kind of sad because if you look at a lot of the other kind of nostalgia cards that Konami has uh, been printing lately, a lot of them have actually been good. Like look at Starboy and then look at the card we talked about yesterday, Mass Starboy. That's a really good link monster that replaces it itself and it empowers your entire field and it strengthens itself as well this card is just oh, this card is so fucking bad and I don't know man I look at cards like Pot of Desires and I'm like well that was a replacement for a broken band card but you know it definitely had a hefty cost but it's still good and it saw a lot of meta play why couldn't they just make this card discard one monster make it a hard once per turn so that you can't abuse it 
And I, I don't know. Well, I think that would have been enough. Like, do you guys think that that would have been enough if the only restrictions on this were you had to discard a monster and it was a hard once per turn? Like, I think that would have been perfectly fine. There would have been no way to spam this card. You still would be getting pretty much uh, just a neg one because you are using two cards essentially for one monster. Like, they didn't need to take away the monster's effect and whatnot. That just completely killed all the playmaking ability of this card. So, I do like the idea, and I like what Konami is doing, because even if Konami said throughout the entire Reigns era, like the next three years, we're just going to be remaking a whole bunch of cards from the original Duel Monsters era, I'd be fine with that, because there are so many players in the game, like they don't, a lot of these kids in the game, they have no idea what cards were from the, the original DM, they don't know anything about GX and whatnot, so it's kind of nice to reprint, or not really reprint, but remake these cards and still keep them with, I guess, kind of the same identity, but just try to make them more competitive konami this is not a good example of how to remake like a broken card i mean even something like lightning vortex in my opinion is acceptable because that card has some like practical applications it can hit like five monsters if you get lucky or something but i don't know i don't really see what this card is good for to be honest so anyways what do you guys think of excessive burial they made this card excessively sucky <laughs> oh man bad puns uh thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already you see it's it's what's it called it's 5.53 when I'm making this video. That's why sometimes the bad jokes come out and the, you know, the wonky editing and stuff like that.